This is Corey Lamley from lifeinthegrid.com and this is a quick overview of the Map It Light jQuery plugin. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating the Map It jQuery plugin. Now this is the light version of the Map It plugin and if you stay tuned to the end of the video, I'll be sure to get you a link where you can download, get more details about the particular plugin, videos just like the one you're watching. So let's go ahead and get started. The jQuery Map It plugin is 100% XML, HTML, JavaScript driven, and you can use this plugin with a dynamic language or you can use it statically, say with your WordPress site or your blog or your internal internet. There's not a lot of coding skills required if you want to use it statically. If you do want to use it dynamically with your favorite programming language such as ASP, PHP, Java, whatever it is, um, it's very easy to use in that particular manner. So let's go ahead and give an overview of the plugin. Um, included in the package is a quick demonstration. We have what we call the universities across Arizona. And this is just some of the universities in the state of Arizona. And we've broken them down categorically by the city that they're located in. So if we zoomed in here on our Google map to the city of Phoenix, we can see that we have the ASU town, downtown campus and we just click on the marker and it automatically finds it for us. We wanted to see Grand Canyon University, we could do the same thing there. And then you click on the get directions link and it'll pre-populate this particular um, directions map and all they, you, you or your customer would have to do is enter in their location of where they're from. So um, the purpose of the map and the whole tool in general is just to help you organize your markers in a nice, clean, effective way and for you to drill down into those markers. And the theme is 100% uh, jQuery themable. So any of the themes that are built in the jQuery, you'll be able to see here. And those are very easy, just to changing an attribute in the XML file, and you can get to any of those. Now the XML file itself, um, we'll take a quick peek at it right here, is what drives the whole entire map. And this file has, you know, pretty basic straightforward settings, which we'll go through in just a second here. So the overall map is very easy to use because it's all configured with the XML file. And there's, there's really not a whole lot much more outside of this particular file that you even really need to tweak. So let's give a quick demonstration of actually changing the file. Say we wanted to change that first city to the city of Chandler. All we'd have to do is come in here to this category node, change this name attribute, and if we refresh our page here, you see city of Chandler is changed right there. Now say, for example, we wanted to um, create a whole new category. It's very simple. It's just, you know, cut and paste here. So all we'd have to do is change this category to the name that we want. We'd, we could easily change all these coordinates and their addresses. And if we refresh the map, there we go. We have this new city that we just created right here. And it was all just by the simple change of an XML file. And all these, all these marker points will be right there in with you. So that's pretty much a quick high level overview of this plugin. And if you jump out to lifeinthegrid.com, you click on the labs, tink, uh, labs link right here, and you jump over to the Map It plugin, click on Read More, and you can have all kinds of great information where you can download it right here and um, just get a lot of information about the plugin. So that's it for now, and I hope that this uh, video helps you out. I hope you got a high level overview of the plugin. And this is Corey Lamley with lifeinthegrid.com. Have a great day. Take care.